Good morning, folks. We've got solar activity, solar wind at Earth, aesthetics from space, the science world steps towards volcanoes, and the southern ozone hole gets an update. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star were mostly quiet until the last few hours this morning. Bottom left, a few filaments destabilize, and then an active region behind the limb lets loose a small CME. We also registered a small C-class solar flare even with the active region behind the limb, and we'll be monitoring this area over the next day to see what turns into face Earth over the next week. We had been expecting solar wind enhancements to discuss in the show this morning, and we've got them, even if it's not so easy to find. NOAA and NASA, your solar wind satellites are failing miserably right now. Look at this data missing here. It's a good thing the geriatric SOHO satellite has no concept of age and is still registering solar wind perfectly, or we'd be unable to properly diagnose this impact which is certainly the minor enhancement we had forecast. Nothing scary, nothing except the data service we're supposed to have from our government. Let's get to the articles nice and easy with a new data sonification from Chandra. At the link in today's list, you can actually find the sonification videos for each of these shots, which are the different spectra through which Chandra and complementary satellites view the heavens. Up next, folks, this is big. We use blot echoes at the base of the crust to predict earthquakes. Adapted from clouded blots, decades-old theory of magma intrusion to that depth, signifying a coming eruption. Today, the world recognizes this potential for volcanic eruptions. It's the same rationale as we use for the quakes. When we begin to see seismicity or the magma intrusion at the low-velocity zone up into the crust, something is going to happen above. Now, last but not least here, folks, the southern ozone hole seems to once again not care at all that ozone-killing pollution is down. We are riding near record levels already here in the south, and their blame on the cold polar vortex is not only only half the story, but it's driven by the changes in Earth's magnetic field. And the other half of the story is the weaker Earth's field is letting in more solar protons to destroy the ozone, which is why when you see predictions of the ozone hole closing, you can know those are wrong. We may have stopped the CFCs, but the geomagnetic secular variation bringing the weaker field in this modern excursion is going to keep pushing the charts to the high end whenever there's even the slightest solar activity. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the ongoing geomagnetic secular variation cycle with our disaster playlist. It's one of those first links right beneath every video. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.